thinks that Okay, sorry, this keep reporting. Okay, so I understand one thinks that uh, the color is representing the feeling, then simpler they are, then better for us. But of course, you can uh, color the way you, you, you like to color. It can be uh, more difficult. It's just, it's never wrong or right. You know, there is nothing about wrong or right. Neurographica is a mirror of you and your picture is just you. And uh, the way you drawing is representing you and the way it is, is right. So don't doubt yourself and it's good or not, just, just be yourself. And when you don't, don't have any doubts about yourself, so you just color the way you feel you want to color. And that's all. And it will be beautiful anyway. And if you don't like something in your picture, it means you don't like yourself. So this is nothing about the picture. It's all about you. But you can change it. Remember I told you, you are the way you decide to be. You decide to not like yourself, but you can decide opposite things. You can decide to love yourself and like the way you are. And so will be. You just accept it. Say, I decide that way. I want that way. And that's all. Very simple. When it's simple, it's simple. Yeah, before when I started to draw uh, and study, I was um, trying my best to make my pictures beautiful and this and that and give other people to see and they like my pictures and I feel good, you know. But with time, I understand one thing. This is me and I don't need anyone like me because I don't have responsibility for their feeling and for make myself for them right that they can like me. No, the most important thing is that I like myself and I, I stop caring much about that. I start to be myself. This is, you know, what I gain with Neurographica. I just start love myself the way I am. And I understand if I want to have any changes in myself, this is only for me. And what is good for me is good for anyone who around me. Because if I'm happy, I can, tra I can like uh, mm, transfer this feeling to others who connect to me, you know? So I don't need to be worried. And now I have to clear understand if some people doesn't like me, they're not that, they not really, it's nothing about me. It's all about them. It's because they see something they have, they don't like, or they see something they don't have, but they would like to have it and they start to have a feeling they don't like me because I remind them that, you know, we're all like this. We all are reminders for someone. And in my pictures, I just simply color my pictures. And I, I, I most, most of time uh, I use um, coloring like intuitively. I use my intuition 
and uh, quite open, I look at my picture and I can sense uh, what color will be next to that. You know, like just, just ask myself at the moment, say, what color is next to that? And I feel, oh, this color next to that. And I just cover. And your picture uh, can be colored all, or you still can have uh, some uncolored space. It's up to you, up to your feeling. And I, I like to, you know, sometimes I use um, the way like coloring, I press some, some parts of the picture harder. So the, the color become deeper, deeper in, into the picture. And this is like, can give your picture a feeling of deeps, different levels. So, it uh, looks also good. You may try this. It's like uh, it's like when you color, you just, uh, there are two ways. First way, you color once. And after this, you go back. But uh, the same, uh, same quality of the press on the pencil. And uh, the more time you draw, them become it's you see it's deeper. The second way is a little bit more difficult, but you you can achieve this with practice, with some practice. It's like you draw at the same moment and just press the pencil harder and it become immediately like that. But this is more difficult. And this is more, more it's a simpler. It's like you use the same, same way, just more time um, color the same place. And the more time you color here, then it's the, the color become a deeper, but just same, same, same pencil. Any kind of uh, color and pencil, they, they can offer you uh, this kind of ability for your pencils. Some, of course, some pencils are quite hard. It's not easy to get out the color from them. Uh, actually, I can tell you why children doesn't like uh, color uh, pencils. But actually, you know, I'm art teacher. I teach kids drawing. And I found kids now are so clean. And uh, that, that idea of being clean is uh, so, so much now in our society so children a lot of children they doesn't really like to draw with crayons anymore you know why because the hands of the crayons get dirty so they don't like that and so they stop liking drawing with crayons and maybe also do that like clay you know work with clay because it's kind of make make hands dirty okay so i want to tell you that you see my picture basically done with coloring yeah and after that uh i have a marker which one i use for uh field lines uh i usually i use a thicker marker and um, actually i use marker with brush and uh uh field lines it's just like a God, it's already in us inside. And these kind of lines, they're already in our picture. You know, I use, uh, I, I a little bit close my eyes and uh, like make, make my vision not so clear. And I look at my picture. And when you do these kind of things, you can still feel some of the lines are more clear than others. If other lines become like foggy, but some lines still stay clear. So this is the fields line. And I just make them stronger and um, make them more visible. They are very important because most of time for me, 
they are the lines showing the last fixation shape because all we do this picture this drawing is to get the result and the fixation is, is the result of our picture the result of our work today why uh, they are so important because fixation shape first you have to uh, remember fixation is what uh, we can say it, it's impression. It's like your picture impress you by some part in that inside. And when you look at that, you understand, oh, this part of the picture take my attention. I just keep looking there. I feel something there. So this is the probably the uh, part of your picture we should take into fixation shape and make it more uh, visible for you. Yeah. So yeah, you see, I I feel now I draw field lines. I actually I call them power lines, and I feel a little bit dizzy and I feel energy coming down to me. Yeah, I always have this kind of feeling now. I become more sensitive with time. When I start drawing neurographic, I feel nothing except being happy to draw. <laughs> now I can feel other people's energy. I develop a lot of sensitivity through the time. Yeah, so field lines, they are very important. And uh, I, I really make them clear because when we make them a little bit clear, because actually a lot of people uh, in my uh, practice here, yeah, when, I, when I draw with people, do classes, I, I notice a lot of people that don't really like to make them visible because it's like, make picture a little bit more heavier and uh, take uh, some people say oh it's take a beauty of of that neurographic picture away but you know i always say uh your picture is like okay the lines the colors it's like eggs and flowers and butter when you make a dough for something you know and uh, the power lines it's a oven when you put your dough in the, in the oven and the fixation shape is like a bread when which one you already take out and it's done but this is the things yeah so it's what we work for you just imagine you make a dough you put in the oven but you didn't really uh, get heat the oven so the dough just standing there and no matter how long it will stand there, it will not be done. So the field lines are very important. They show us. It's like it's like the more visible they are, then the the then the better the temperature for result. Okay, you see, look at my picture. I got with the uh, field lines. I did them. So you can see them pretty clear, right? So uh, the field lines must be very clear. So you can see the ending of result. And usually the result shape is a something new that you see, because the quality of the, uh, when you are doing cookie and your cookie looks really different from the dough you made or bread, yeah? So the same things quite often, uh, the fixation shape is something new, what picture is uh, giving you. It's like a born the baby, you know, like new coming out and something very interesting. So quite often, but sometimes it can be the old shape. You see like, like here, my, my, my power lines, my, my field lines, they hug this. So it feels like something important here. And so this shape is already was in my picture. 
but I will make it stronger. And so I announce it as a shape of fixation. But not only here, here, I feel there is one more, a bigger one. Yeah, you see here. I can feel it very clear. And so I finish it. I do few shapes of fixation because if you really see it, it's talking to you. The shape of fixation, they are like message for you, like a conversation with you. When you look at this, because some shapes, especially when you have a writing on your picture, they are telling you what to pay attention to. And I'm sure if you ask yourself, if especially you have done writing on it and say, oh, this is like a, a God in my life and this is someone else and maybe your daughter, maybe your son, maybe your husband, maybe your friend, maybe your family members, you know, maybe you have some kind of Mm, long-term problem maybe it's your health so the picture surely can give you some kind of suggestion or give you some kind of idea about something so today the topic you remember yeah we talk about the truth the world is made of truth the truth is everywhere it's everywhere we just need to see it the real re like reason for that and uh, here in this picture you may ask oh why do i have this kind of situation in my life and maybe in a few days you will get the answer in your mind what is this about why is that way and it's just for feeling the process of the life to achieve something. Yeah, how good it is for me. Don't forget to breathe. And maybe if you need to drink some water. Okay, so you see, this is the shape. I have got two shapes of fixation in my picture. This is shape number one and shape number two. Yeah. And um, I want to tell you, I also do fix the fixation shape. What do, how do I do that? Because um, I understand that fixation, it means attention. It means impression. It's like your picture impress you and stop your eyes right there. And when you look at the picture, if your eyes is still want to wander here and there, like walking on your picture, it means the fixation is still not done. It, it's, you know, in my uh, view, it's like, if you um, take one kind of idea, like, like, a, like, you know, like a wizard, yeah? Uh, they are doing some kind of energy and it's become like you cannot see but at the moment it's like they connect a lot a lot of energy and finally they become make a real something in the hand so this is the fixation shape and how do I do this when I look at my picture I look okay this is you see everybody please look at my picture at the moment and try to uh Okay, I would like you, this is my way. This is my, uh, um, what I do. But you can feel, you want to try that or not, how it resonate with you. Because it's not the rule, no. It's like, you may try what I do. I look at this shape. This is the shape of fixation. Inside of that shape has two colors. And I talk to myself and ask, what is important for you in that shape? And I say, I like green color there very much. And I say, okay, 
So I take green color and I lightly color all the shape and I cover red color there as well. And this shape become one. I still can see red, but I also can see uh, it's one, it's connect. It's all like a cement, you know, green color like a cement. Now I only can see the shape. When I did this kind of things, I stopped seeing colors inside. I stopped seeing lines inside. I start to see complete shape. And I ask myself, here I have yellow, little brown, I have blue and red. And I ask myself, what do I like here? And I can tell you, I like blue. And so I take a blue color and I color lightly. I don't want to have a reason to, I mean, a uh, purpose to, to make it really, really blue. No, but I want to make this shape like one. I just simply color it with this. And uh, because it's a circle, yeah, so it can be uh, round, you can feel it round. How we can do that? We just down here, make a little bit stronger color. So now you can see my fixation shapes are very clear. And you understand in this work, everything is done is for these two things. And you know, to see, if, if talking to me, I can say, this picture is telling me, to see the truth, I need a lot of wisdom because it's blue and a little freedom. It's like I set myself free and so my wisdom will be open, free of, free of being like, be free of thinking too much. And so the wisdom will be open, the follow, yeah? So I, I feel like these two shapes, they are like follow each other. And your picture may talk to you, you know? Because basic colors of the shape can tell you, like if it's yellow, so you need more clarity. If it's red, you need more action to see the truth. If it's green, you need to be light and free, free of some kind of uh, opinions and something, or maybe your old uh, uh, structures, you know, be free of something. If it's blue, you need to have more wisdom. If it's purple, maybe you need to have more connection to the God, more trust. If it's pink, you need to have more love. If they're orange, you need to put your action and clarity together. And that's it. If it's brown or gray, you need to have a willpower to do something, not just wait. So this is the things. And your picture in the end, talk to you and tell you what do you need. Because when we draw it, we draw it from the spiritual and your soul state. Why? Because ego cannot control neurographic picture. Because why? I can explain you and open up for you. You see, our neurographic line is changing, yeah? All the time, it's running like that. So do you know what happening? Do you notice, I want to ask you, do you notice one thing when we are doing some kind of technique? I can tell you my experience before I practice uh, um, breathing techniques why at the beginning it was pretty good it's work like magic it's wonderful but after three months four months six months it become not working anymore why why so because when something become routine you know for example your technique has a code the code is one 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 or doesn't matter what code but when it's become routine and you do the same things every day, 
your ego become know your code. It's developed the knowledge about the code and it's broken inside. And it's not working anymore because your ego wants you to stay miserable and small and negative because it wants to control you. But your spirit is great and powerful. And so when it's developed the code of things you are doing, spiritual technique, meditation or something else, because it's never changing, it's the same. So it's quickly can develop the code and know and get inside and broke it. And with time it's become, you have no more this kind of feeling, what do you have in the beginning? And you become tired of that and you don't want to do it anymore and it's not working. But neurographic, you know, it's changing the code every moment. Every line is new. So it's why it's working all the time. Why it can get inside of your body and your uh, consciousness uh, without control of the ego. And so why the pictures are always like, I believe them a lot. I believe them like for 100 percentage because they are talking to me and they tell me something I couldn't see in the reality. That's that's all for today. Yeah, I hope. Uh, OK, I'm turning on my back, my camera to my face and uh, we may talk and discuss your pictures, your feelings about drawing today. And uh, we may talk about your ideas and how usable was your drawing for us, for you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. It was beautiful. And I uh, I allow you everybody to unmute right now. So if you want to ask questions, you can unmute yourself or, and show your drawings to uh, Tanya and ask questions if you have. How was the class for you? Can you say uh, what was the most valuable for you from this class? And um, what are you what will be your takeaway from this class? I think identifying the um, the big lines mm -hmm. are what. Let's see. Yeah. It. it uh, sorry. You. We cannot see it, Ella, because uh, because the you turn on the filter. Uh, for, yeah. Yeah. Behind. So it it can oh. read only the person nothing else except okay. if you put it in front of you really on the chest here maybe we can okay. try that way yeah 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 i can see it mm -hmm. it's the uh what what are those big lines called mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Field lines good good Field. good good okay stay mm -hmm. nice nice very good mm -hmm. you did a good job thank you it was, um, I, I'm still working on the colors and um, trying to figure out what, what they mean. And, um, but I really enjoyed that. And about 10 or 15 minutes before you said you were getting hot, I was getting really hot before that. But by the time you said it, I cooled off. But that's what I found when I've done different neurographica I find that my heat just goes, I'm the one with the dog bite. So I think it was a really good healing lesson for me today. So I'm happy. Thank you very much. It was beautiful. Good, good. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, girls, who, who want to say more something about your feeling, your picture, share, please. For me, I um, I'm fairly new to this. I still have a lot to do. I'm just oh, still rounding, uh -huh. but um, I think there's something really about this one big one being off that I haven't like I don't know what that's all about. But also, I've been really drawn to yellow. Like everything I do has to have shades and shades of yellow. So I found that interesting when you were saying color is meaningful. Clarity. Yes, yes, oh, yes, it's a feeling. It means if you are willing for yellow, you want to have yellow everywhere. It means uh, you are willing for clarity, to be clear about something, yes. So, uh, but uh, 
you know, I want to suggest you one thing. Uh, Sometimes people start to know about the colors. Actually, there are many typologies of the colors you, you may use, like chakras, yes, or some others, or your own personal idea of the color. Uh, you, you see, actually, I can tell you, yellow is a um, uh, third chakra, yeah? It represents your connection to the social world, who you are. So maybe you have a problem with that. You have a problem with standing out and say who you are for outside people mm -hmm. to really announce that. But it's really connect to the clarity because you are not clear who you are. And mm -hmm. so you cannot stand out with that. You just, you know, it's like say, okay. And they say, oh, you are like silly girl. And you, you just say, oh, what? Yeah, am I? No, you say, no, you, I'm not. So, because you know who you are. So this is the clarity things. But plus I can tell you yellow quite often stands for fear or for light because one, everything is one. People say, oh, fear is fear. No, fear is love. So light is love. So basically when you looking for yellow, it means you have a lot of things. What is the, like in the shadow of yellow. So it means maybe you have a fear. So it's why you are looking for light. For yellow yes mm. for mm. happiness mm. kids that's love really yellow mm. Mm. thank you yeah that's really good it's really good yeah so keep going for yellow and mm. now you can or i i feel i want to cry and <laughs> now you can uh consciously use this idea yeah mm. yes okay yeah but i also suggest you to use green okay yeah because it makes you free, make mm. you more childish, light, you know, mm. uh, because it's important. Okay. Mm. That's really neat. Yeah, thank you very much. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Can I you know make it higher a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. So big picture, A3 size, huh? Cool. Uh, I already can see a huge circle in the middle of yeah, the picture. I see it at first. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. But I, I choose the red color. Um, um, I don't know. You need to be more active. No, no, no. I, I just choose it uh, sin, sin knowing. How do you say that in English? <laughs> uh, I, I, I pick up a color. Then look at it. Oh, without looking, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Unseen, <laughs> unseen, okay. So it's just like consciously you pick up the color of which one has come to you. Yeah. Okay, okay. So right. it means, you see, it means you pick the red color, so it means you need to be active to do something. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, I love it. And I love the way... You do the the rounding with each uh, each parcel of um, yes yeah it's, it's, I you. I love Thank that. You. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Thank you. There is a comment in the chat uh, from Robin. I just got a new PC and can, cannot figure out how to get my camera to work. I just want to say I truly enjoyed this class. I uh, felt at peace through it. Thank you. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Uh -huh. Great. I, 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 yeah, during the class, I feel a lot of energy coming, coming out and uh, it's great. And, uh, you know, just, just remember you are beautiful the way you are and don't take anyone's opinion about yourself. You have to trust only yourself. And when you know this for clear, without any hesitation, without any doubt, the people will start to take you the same way. But when you have a doubt, you, you like spread this out and people come and check on you and also doubt you. You know, when you are at peace and you have no doubt about yourself, everything become different and you will become just the way you are. No matter how do you look like, you just will be beautiful the way you are now, you know? Yeah, that's it. Thank you, Tanya. Tanya, why are you doing this course now? Why did you, uh, 
I know it came to you, but is there, um, do you know why it came to you right now? Because girls, I want, I want to tell you one thing. Okay, I don't want to give you ideas like it will be too much to to maybe too heavy okay now it's very special time everybody of you can feel that it doesn't matter where you are what you involve in you can feel this is very special things and some of us may connect to the god like mm, and because i also drew neurographic already for a long time it's make my connection to the god really strong and uh, i just i just feel myself like that and uh, so I would like to share. So my service, I understand my service to this work is to help other people to develop as close as possible to my feeling. It's like to develop them to close to the gut, to, to make they, they can feel safe and strong and uh, be, be loved. And so when you love and when you develop and open the love, you see the problem, we're all looking for the love outside, but it's not outside, it's inner side. And I start to believe that every one of you, just me, we just continuously, you know, you are you, but you also me, and I love you as I love myself. And uh, you know, we just like a beats, we're all the same. But we have one core is a love, is a God, and we all are it. And that that line of the God is already inside of us, like a bead inside. But we just don't know. We we look out, you know, but we have to look in. And when we look in and develop beauty in, it come out beautifully, and everything become very different. We concentrate, you know, we have a white paper and on the paper we have a black dot. And our vision that I can, I told you from beginning, the filter, yeah, make us concentrate on the dot. But actually we have to concentrate on the white paper, how huge it is, how many sources we have. And we can go anywhere and we can do whatever we want. Don't concentrate on small little things. It's like the world is huge. And the best way, if you understand yourself as a world, you know, and uh, this course can make, make you develop in this kind of state. When you understand yourself as a spirit, you know, you are the spirit who come here to just experience this life, to just play. But we jump into that too much. We become so emotional. And these emotions, they tear us apart. You know, they destroy your inside. And you can feel so miserable. Like you say, oh, yeah, I'm nobody. You are everything in this world. You are so huge. You are so powerful. The love is everywhere. And you are the, the source of this life and source of this love. And the life you are doing is come from inner side, not from outside. So when you start to understand how powerful you are, you take everything to yourself back, you know, and you become strong. The life isn't change, no. You change. And when you become understand who you are, you start to look at this like, oh, I'm thankful for this experience. And you can step back from the emotions and can see the truth of that experience of your life. And you start to experience not like, oh, it's good, yeah, it's mine. Oh, it's bad, they, they fold. No, you start to understand. I'm just a guest in that body, in, the, in that life. And just take the source of that, take a beauty of that emotion, take a beauty of that uh, situation of that person even it's not beautiful but you can see the beauty in that why because you change because you start to understand your power and so you can just take it what you need from inside of that you don't take all you know because for example piece of shit is a piece of shit yes it's smelly and bad but why farmers use it for growing something beauty you know to fertilize the earth to give something good. So because everything has its own need, 
And if you can see inside, you can take that need from them and put all the things we don't need aside. So you can get the goods, good stuff from everything what has come to you. But you need to develop this kind of uh, feeling, the, the, the state of being. So this course may help you to be that way. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. So we, uh, this course has four, 16 lessons and they are combined into different modules. We have nine modules. You can buy them separately or you can buy them by module. Tanya will do two um, lessons at a time, uh, not at a time, but in uh, April we have two lessons. In May we have two more lessons every other week. And then in June, we'll have uh, every week and uh, July as well until we finish them. And later after that, if you cannot join live classes, they will be recorded. So you can get them uh, recorded as well. Uh, and they will be still powerful. Tanya is um, setting the energies for recordings to be as powerful as the live classes. Yeah, surely. Don't worry about this because recording may have the same power as we just do. Because there is, trust me, there is no time and no uh, space. It's only what we understand because we are here. But basically there is none of that. And uh, you can be anywhere you like, just right there. But we don't need to, like some people, they understand this is very by space actually, you know. To understand this is you need to be like out of this understanding of the space and the timing yes and actually one of the lessons we have in the course is the goals vertical because this is a horizontal like we live in that way we have age and we go that way but we have one lesson after 10 few lessons yes we go up vertical so i think it's in lesson number 10 yeah we go yeah. vertical way of living so we already out of that, the H is stopped. So no more uh, timing, yeah, we're going up, yeah. Beautiful. I, I love all the lessons and they were, uh, they're beautifully combined. So uh, I, we will be waiting for you to join uh, the classes. And if you have any questions, you can um, uh, uh, Tanya in the Facebook group or send us an email at neurographicacademy at gmail.com. Yes, yes. And uh, it will be wonderful. We can set our uh, course group uh, and we can communicate there freely about all the pictures. And it will be, uh, and I would like you to really share your, your comments about your own picture because we all want. And sometimes what you're dealing with, very important for another person, but he couldn't see. And when, when you announce this, other people certainly can understand, wow, this is, this is the things. Yeah, this is what I need. And it's exactly about me. Why? Because we're all one. Yes. Yes. Okay, colors again. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure. it's very important to share. Yeah, because you don't know who is going to see it and how it will be helpful to them. What Tanya is saying, we have a community on the website. Once you join the course, you will be able to share your drawings in the community uh, on the website. But please share your drawings uh, in Facebook as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. uh, we have a few more minutes. Mary uh, wanted... Okay, Robin, Robin asked about colors. Okay, I quickly repeat the colors uh, to let you understand. Start from, okay, yellow, clarity, uh, red, activity, or passion, you know, like, uh, like something powerful, like a fire, you know? But orange is a mix of yellow and red. So it's two colors together. It's like action with clarity it's a higher level of color okay so remember we have two kind of color like that and the uh, next color is uh, the same ki kind like orange is a purple uh, purple is connection of red and blue so it's a connection to the gut it's like 
red is activity, blue is a wisdom. It's what does it mean? It means you are acting with wisdom already. It's like when you are so, um, you have a lot of wisdom that you already able to do something with that, to receive it, to give it to other people, you know? So it means you become a higher level. So why the uh, last chakra is a purple color? Because it shows different level. It's not just you have your own wisdom, yeah, here, or intuitively, intuition. It means you already develop a level you may transfer, like giving this is to others. Okay, blue, as I say, wisdom, and uh, green. Green is a color of uh, wind. It's like being free, being light, being like a child, curious, and uh, easy come, easy go, okay? Being free, basically, the most important things here, as I see. But actually, you may use your own understanding or typology, okay? And um, after that, the uh, brown or gray color, they are representing willpower, okay? So they are quite strong and uh, uh, by, by, we seldom actually use them. And if you feel you have not don't have really a lot of willpower you may use brown or gray yeah so this is basic colors we use usually other colors mm -hmm. is also always uh, some kind of connection like dark green or dark blue so you see uh green and light blue like a sky blue is still belong to the wind okay but all darker blue is it's belong to the wisdom water so it's kind of a little bit separation, okay? Oh, pink, special case. Pink is uh, love, okay? Yes, and uh, just to share that we have a special course for advanced algorithms called NeuroColor, where we learn yes, all yes. of this color. So if uh, you want to You are learn... interested, yeah, you can join that because this is this course of neurocoloring is uh, really, really deeper and it's already connect to the healing and understand yourself because this is energies. They already have been before us. The world is uh, made of these energies and it's really great. It's open up your uh, seeing ability when you know that. Mm. Okay, there is Mary wanted to ask something. She has her hand up. Go ahead, Mary. I just want to show this. Oh, um, great. Mm -hmm. And uh, just to say that it was really an inspiring class. And it's so fascinating what you said about the ego mm. cleared up for me that it's being put on you from others. Mm. And so Great. that was really interesting. And that the neural lines are always freeing you and breaking you free from any kind of getting in a rut, you know? So I okay. really love that and I appreciate it. Great, great. Mary, I would like you to add more, more lines by the, by, yeah. by, by the edge of the picture, especially down here, your small circle has only outline, one outline coming out. So you more may, lines. yes, yes. You may add more lines to connect to the world stronger, okay? Huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Tanya. Thank you, everybody. It was a beautiful class and uh, nice. It was nice to see everybody. We had. Uh, 26 people at some point and um, I hope everybody enjoyed and we will be uh, happy to see you in the uh, in this uh, course later thank you okay guys yeah thank you very much you joined my class love you yeah and wish you a great night and I'm sure now you're gonna sleep and sleep over with your picture and you got your result love you okay Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.